I think that I have and the staff has gotten a better sense of what kind of young man comes here and can meet the challenge of the academic rigors and the challenge that we uh, give them athletically on the football field. And we've taken a good look at the personnel that we have here and instead of trying to ask them to do something we want them to do, we've tried to make them good at the things they're capable of doing and build those things into what we do as a program. Not letting down the guy next to him, not being the guy that that gave it up at the end. When the film turns on, be as perfect as you can be and go out and play as hard as you can play. And they get each other going and we come out and we go down the ramp and we're ready to go. We've got a good class coming in. Uh, it won't be as many this year playing uh, in the varsity games as has been in the past two years and that's a good thing. That means some of the kids that we brought in are maturing and are gonna be on the field for hopefully an extended period of time in the next two seasons. I think the league is up for grabs. But I think that there's some clear-cut choices at the top with Harvard and Yale, and you have to take it one week at a time. You're going to have to step your game up with you when you're playing one of those two teams. We've got to come out and we've got to claw ourselves back to at least 500, if not better. I expect to win 10. Uh, that's what you want. Uh, that's what your goal is, to win every game you play. I expect to see improvement throughout the season, from the first game you play in September to the last game you play in November not resting on your laurels, not thinking that you know everything. Uh, great game planning by coaches, great hustle and effort by players, and hopefully some great outcomes at the end of games.